There's no site better that tells this story of the Royal Observatory's crucial role in keeping time at sea than the distinctive time ball. Every day at precisely 1pm, this red time ball drops from the top of the Royal Observatory. It's one of the oldest public time signals in the world, dating back to 1833. Even today, ships on the Thames can still use it to check their timepieces. I'm joined by Louise Devoy, senior curator here at Greenwich. Here we have the time ball on the northeast turret of Flamsteed House, the oldest part of the observatory. Now from down here in the courtyard, it looks quite small, but it's actually about five feet or one and a half meters across. And originally it was just a hollow wooden sphere covered in black canvas or fabric. And then it was replaced with the red aluminium version that you can see here. Now, over time, we've had to adapt the technology over the two centuries. So first of all, it was wound up by a hand crank. Then from the 1850s, it was controlled by electric impulses from the Shepherd motor clock, then later controlled by radio signals. And then now it's actually dropped by GPS time signals from the satellites as they pass overhead. So it's really evolved with the technology. And our position here near the river is really important for ships even today, isn't it? Yes, its position here and the view down to the river is really crucial. You want to look at the time ball, see it drop and check your chronometer and see if it's too fast or too slow and then factor that into your longitude calculations. So time balls changed the game for maritime navigation. But on land, time was still causing chaos. <laughs> 